Just chilling out back. Lola. Hi, Lola. We're hanging out. <laughs> but anyway, um, my uh, water lettuce that was floating in here, something was eating them. Oh. Um, you can kind of see like the leaves look a little eaten. Oh, sorry. <clears throat> so, uh, being a pest control guy, I just took some of my stuff that I spray yards with and I spiked it up a little bit and, and I, I put it in one container and then I put a thing of fresh water right next to it and I dunked them in that and all, all these bugs came up at, it, at this. It was crazy, like little worms and all kinds of shit. That's what it was eating. Because I looked it up online I was wondering why my water lettuce was dying. This stuff's supposed to flourish like... It grows so much, people take it out and they throw it in their gardens as, you know, as a natural fertilizer. Mine was just not growing. So, <clears throat> so that's what I did. And uh, it came up nice, man. They were all black and it had all that nasty shit all over it. So it should start taking off now. Over here, I have my chicken shits over here. <laughs> Come out of the corner, we see you. <laughs> Nose out of joint just because I opened the top. Doc, no, we don't, man. We just don't want to get eaten by them damn birds. <laughs> I'm going to build a little filter house for this because it's really not the prettiest looking thing. Uh, I'll, I might leave the top open, though, and I'll just do like a bamboo around it or just put a big door to it or something that comes off. Uh, I still want sun to be able to get in here because this, this is what I'm going to keep some of my plants. Look at these, look at these ones, man. Aren't they cool? They grow like crazy, these things. This is just something I pulled out of the yard. <laughs> but look how many roots it gets. It does good for a while, and then it starts turning yellow and nasty. These are actually weeds in here that I pulled and put in there. Anything with roots, man, it takes the uh, nitrates out of the water. Yeah, I got, it, I got it coming up from the filter through there. It goes up and over, and it goes down, and it 45s in this way. So the water is constantly going around in a circle, vortex. You always want a, like a, as much of a current as you can. And these brushes in here catch a lot of stuff before it gets to the second uh, filter system, uh, the second barrel. Every once in a while, you got to clean these. I take the top off and I just put a brush down there, and it, and it cleans all them little cracks. So it's weird looking through this trying to open that. <laughs> Same thing over here, the water goes down to the bottom, 45s that way, and it just keeps on going in a circle all the way to the top. And that leaves the dirt on the bottom, and I just take that, that little uh, valve, turn it, black water comes out, same, same thing with this one. This one you can't, I, do, I put a drain there just in case I've been able to drain it, but this never gets clean, it's, this is maintenance free. <clears throat> yeah, nice brown color, man. You know what that means. And these brushes, if you, if you take take one out and you bang it on here, you'll see all these little worm things all, all over the place. But those are good. You know, you don't want to get rid of those. It's not like the ones that we eat in my plant. Those are different. <laughs> That's a very good sign if you had those in your, in your filter. <clears throat> so it comes up to the top, down to the bottom. Uh, this is on a spiral. I don't know if it probably doesn't do nothing. Um, I thought of this afterwards, putting the, the K1 moving bed. And um, these I put in, they go to the bottom, and I cut the PVC pipe in a pattern so it covers the whole bottom. And I drilled three eight holes all along the bottom, three eight holes, I mean. <clears throat> and um, so when I uh, when I uh, put my leaf blower on here, it goes to the bottom and it bubbles up like crazy, and it makes the water really dirty. And you just turn that knob. And flush it all the way down until it's empty. Um, same thing with this. I don't even have to take them brushes out. I just put my leaf blower on there, turn it on, clean. Go to the bottom, drain it out, done. Easy. Uh, I also have uh, the, the, the uh, these drains that go in there. They don't just go in and stop right there. They go in and they go down like this. And I made another pattern with PVC pipe. This one's on the very bottom. And I drilled three eighths holes all in that. So when I open that up, it sucks everything off the bottom all at once. 
So there's nothing left. You know, it would be stupid to just go in on the side, just leave it there. Yeah, you, know, you gotta have the whole bottom's covered. <clears throat> that one's done like that, that one's done like that. <clears throat> then it goes down. Uh, oh, and the bottoms of all of these, I have crushed coral. I added crushed coral until I got to the pH that I like, and it'll stay that way now, even if it's rainwater, acid water, whatever. And this is just charcoal. It's regular charcoal from Home Depot. It's hardwood. Um, it works. I mean, activated, obviously, is a lot better. But you don't need activated charcoal. This is what I've been doing this for 25 years, and it keeps the water really, really polished, very, very clean. Take the yellow out. And, of course, it goes back. And then down. So I got the chicken shits in the corner. Once I dig a deep pond, they'll, they'll, they'll come up to you. They'll never come up to you shallow like this. They're afraid you're going to grab them and eat them. <laughs> Dumbasses. Look at these fools. Right there come. Hey guys. Yeah, right back the other way. Can't just be enjoying them. <laughs> I really freak them out and turn that turn that air <laughs> the air hose off. <laughs> no, they they get scared. <laughs> they all huddle in a corner. Come on, guys, come on down. Look how they all go around the rock. I don't know if you can see with it from here. <laughs> they swim in a school. The goldfish. That's big mama. She probably means the most to me. She's an old lady. Even though she's not a great great quality koi. The other two are. And I have one really shitty one that I've had actually in my possession for the longest. Mama was already, uh, I think, 15 when I got her, and I've had her 15 years. So. All right, guys. <laughs> we'll huddle together. Come on, Mama, you know me. She's like, I don't give a fuck. I'm going this way. <laughs> Come on, guys, come out, come over here. Little pricks. Put my hand in there and make them. <laughs> look, everybody's look, oh, look at the ones peeking their heads out. <laughs> I don't know if you can see that or not. <laughs> there was like three of them, they like, poked their head out of the bottom. Damn fools. But they stand by the big ones, man. We're like, yeah, I fuck that. You guys, they're gonna want to eat, eat you guys first. <laughs> Dumbasses. That's that's the low quality one. That's that's the high quality right there. That one. I think she was. I think six hundred or something when I got her. She was smaller than that. <laughs> and the, the one next to him, I think he was five hundred. I want I want to put. I want to have like like ten of them all together. But I want them all to be you know. Really high, the highest quality as I, as I can get. You know what I mean. Moving fast, something scared them. <laughs> That's it, they're not gonna go out for a week now. <laughs> what are you guys doing? Yeah, you know me. They get playful. If you if, if you put like a uh, like a handball in there or a racquetball, you put a couple of them in, they play with it, they'll bop it up around with their mouths. They're uh, really they're living jewels, man. That's the best way to describe them. Living jewels. They're gonna outlive me. I have to pass them down to somebody. They they could live seventy five years. I think the oldest one was. I lived lived a long time. It was like almost two hundred years old or some shit. You know, I could be a little off on that, but I think it was, it was up there, or one hundred and fifty or something like that. I'm gonna have to Google that. <laughs> <laughs> you know you're on Google right now, googling this, that shit. O oldest living koi ever. Go Google the most expensive koi. It's like a fucking almost two million dollars. Well, one point eight million. <laughs> Can you imagine that coming home with a, a million and a half fish, and then you, and then you fuck up and you kill it with a water change. Nah, that would never happen. I I know what I'm doing with this shit now. I wish I knew a little bit more about the medical side. Like if they get, they have a problem like. You know, and you can fix them. I can't do that. <laughs> no surprise, I just barely met it out of high school. <laughs> I think people are listening to me. Send me over there. 
crazy neighbor. He keeps turning the camera around. You're welcome. Right, guys? Now you're not going to hide anymore. We can see you. <laughs> you will not hide. All right. Uh, let's give him, give him some peace. All these little shits are going to eat all the food. I don't have any left. I have a bunch of bony koi. <laughs> Oh, look, they're under the, the floating rocks. He thinks he's hiding. We see you. Actually, that's the brave one. That one will always come first up to eat. And the other koi are like, all right, he didn't die, so we can go eat now. <laughs> oh, mama. Okay, I'll, I'll close it. You guys want peace. <laughs> <laughs> they just want me to shut the fuck up so they can eat. <laughs> nice. That's why I'm going to do a square one, because I want, I want to be able to do this, too. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to build a roof over it, with six by sixes on the corner, and then I'm, I'm going to have these lift, lift straight up like this, on, on block and tackle like that. Hmm, hard to point with. <laughs> But it's going to be bigger. It's going to go 12 foot out that way. So. That's all I'm going to do. I may even do electric. You just push one button and they all come. They come up like that. <laughs> all right, guys. Have a great day. Just wanted to show you what's going on over here. Jimmy Splinters. Or in this case, Jimmy Splash. <laughs> That's what Justin says. Right, Justin? You come up with the best fucking name, brother. Ha, ha, ha.